We heard from Hunter's attorney yesterday, and now we're hearing from House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer. Let's take a listen. This deposition will be filmed. This will be testifying in public, but not in a chaotic scene where the Democrats, who have already demonstrated they can't uh, conduct themselves in a mature, credible manner during a hearing. So we expect the deposition. Then we'll have the public hearing that everybody wants to have. We have hundreds of questions that we need to ask Hunter Biden. You can't do that uh, in a committee hearing. All right, House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer there speaking out after Hunter Biden said he wants to testify publicly before Congress. But Republicans are refusing that request. Congressional correspondent Alana Austin is live on Capitol Hill with more. Alana, why are they refusing this? Hi, good afternoon, Christina and Bob. And this is an interesting moment taking place here on Capitol Hill. Abby Lowell, the powerhouse attorney for Hunter Biden, is saying he wants to testify. Hunter wants to be here on Capitol Hill for that December 13th deposition, but he wants it to be out in the open. And here is a portion of the letter he sent to Chairman Comer to answer your question, Christina. It says in part, a public proceeding would prevent selective leaks, manipulated transcripts and documents, doctored exhibits or one-sided press statements. Your empty investigation has gone on too long, wasting too many better used resources. And breaking news, we have also just learned a source familiar tells me that Majority Whip Tom Emmer told the House GOP conference that there could be a formalized vote for that impeachment inquiry coming up in the next several weeks. And let's play a little bit more from Chairman James Comer today responding to Abby Lowell and his request that this Hunter Biden testimony be made public. We expect full compliance with our lawfully issued subpoenas. No one is above the law, even if your last name is Biden. Our committee will first interview and depose witnesses. We then, of course, would welcome Hunter Biden to testify at a public hearing at a future date. Busy calendar here for the House Oversight and Accountability and House Judiciary Committees coming up on Capitol Hill this Friday. Elizabeth Naftali, an art patron, is scheduled to testify about her role in purchasing art pieces from the president's son. Next Monday, Hunter's former business associate, Mervyn Yan. A week from today, President Joe Biden's brother, James, has his scheduled deposition. Thursday, top Department of Justice prosecutor Leslie Wolf is expected to face questions about her role in the federal Hunter Biden probes. December 13th, Hunter Biden, of course, is scheduled to testify. Then December 15th, George Berger, Hunter's art gallerist. And December 19th, Eric Schwerin, another one of Hunter's former business associates. And House Judiciary Committee member Virginia Congressman Ben Klein says he thinks there is a lot of interesting information and evidence to warrant a potential impeachment inquiry against President Joe Biden. What we have now are bank records, uh, facts about collusion between Biden family members and whether the president, uh, then vice president, was involved in a lot of this money being transferred between foreign governments, agents of foreign governments, and uh, the now president of the United States. And the House Oversight Committee is still working to reschedule Rob Walker. He's another one of Hunter Biden's former business associates. And we first brought that news to you that he would not be testifying this morning on Capitol Hill as originally scheduled. And Christina and Bob, I also reached out to Abby Lowell, of course, Hunter Biden's attorney here, to see will Hunter actually be here on December 13th to testify or not. There are some potential legal ramifications there if he does does not show up. And I haven't heard back yet today, but we'll keep you posted, of course, if we do hear a response. It could get interesting. Alana Austin, thank you for that report from Capitol Hill.